Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And if you just watch Outlook 2003 video part 1, this is video part 2, sort of an extension. I'm going to elaborate a little bit on a couple things that I either missed or did not mention in part 1 video. So let's begin. We have Outlook 2003 open. We're on the, we're currently in the inbox. We've talked about the inbox and couple of the buttons up top and the menu bar, uh, whatever you'd like to call it up here. We've briefly, briefly touched all those different um, uh, functions and navigation of, of Outlook 2003, but now I want to elaborate on just a couple more, not advanced, but a couple more different things that I forgot to mention in the first video. For instance, how to set up a folder or create a new folder in Outlook. Now this can be used if you had say multiple clients or if you wanted to create a folder specifically uh, in, entitled to a subject or something or if you wanted to organize your email accounts or I'm sorry if you wanted to organize your emails you would do this by setting up folders with uh, the inbox so what you would do is simply right click on the inbox and go to new folder and we're gonna name this one let's see um, Jeez, I'm trying to think of a decent name. Test folder, let's just do that. And you'll see that test folder open is created just under the inbox. Now if we received an email that was re related to that test folder, all we would do is simply click and hold, drag that email into the test folder, and it would show up in here. If we wanted to store that email for later use or to bring it up later on if we needed for reference or anything, we would have a copy of that email and we know where it was stored. So this is just basic organization in Outlook 2003. I'm glad I went over that because that's something I completely missed in part one video. Now what I wanted to focus on in this part two video is getting a calendar events and contacts and tasks, some of the other many functions that Outlook 2003 provides and this is all about just getting you organized. So moving on to the away from the mail and to the calendar let's let me show you guys how to create an event. Now I'm so used to the month view I'm just gonna go straight to month and again remember it's gonna start off in the day section for us but we wanna just change to the month so if you click month here we're now on the month view. Now let's set up in uh, let's set up an appointment for the 15th of March or we know whenever you need to but all I'm going to do is simply double click the 15th of March type the subject in test meeting location test I can't spell today you can set a label if you like I'm going to make this extremely important the start time would be set here you can set whether it's going to be an all-day event or if it had specific times you're going to have this event at. And you can even set how long you'd like or how close to this event that you'd like a record. Uh, I'm sorry, you'd like a reminder. And I'll just go ahead and set it an hour before. You know, I'd like to rem be reminded by Outlook that hey, you have this test meeting coming up um, here in the next hour. So that's what the reminder is. And you can even set your outlook to show that you are busy or if you're free or if you're going to be out of the office or if it's tentative or whatever. That's what you would show the time as. In this case, I'm going to show the time as busy. And you can have some notes. I have a test meeting with so and so. Once you're done with setting that up, you would hit save and close. And you would see that your uh, appointment that you've just set up that you've just created is now where you'd like it to be. Now again if you want to set up an appointment that you know you had for March 20th or you pick the day double click the day type the subject the location whether you want it to be an all-day event or if it has specific times and I want to be reminded let's say an hour before show my time is busy this is another meeting be prepared exclamation point I want to freak myself out save and close and we'll see that the 
meeting that we've just set up for the 20th is now in there. Now that's basic calendar use in Microsoft Office Outlook 2003. I've showed you guys how to change the view and how to set up appointments. That's about as advanced as I'm going to get today. If you want to play around with it, feel free. I know Outlook 2003, I know all versions of, uh, of Microsoft Office applications inside and out. But And if you had a question or if you wanted to know how to do something, leave them in the comments section, send an email, however you want to get in contact. Just, just do it. That way I can show you how to do it. It's simple. Now let's move on to contacts. Say we just met somebody today and we wanted to add them, they're a new client or somebody, and we wanted to add them to our contact section. Well, we would go to contacts, click on new, and we'll see that this kind of prompts us to enter the new contact information. Now, what's their full name? Let's go with uh, John Test. Strange name. He is a manager for... Um, test company. I want to file him under last name because I stay better organized that way. I have his phone number at 555. Very strange phone number for Mr. Test, but geez, ignore this. Alright, it's asking for my area code. Leave us alone. Okay. So he has a very strange phone number, 555-555-5555. I think John's lying to me, but we're going to continue. He also gave me his home number, which I found to be awkward. It is 444. You get the picture, guys. And you know what? I also have his email address, and it's john at testcompany.com. His website... And you can even write a little note about him. Um, you can say, met client at so-and-so, was interested in product one, whatever. But, I mean, pretty basic. You have where you can enter his full name. You have his information for the company he works with, his phone number, his home number, uh, the email address, how you want it to display this information, and any notes that you want to create. This is basically a customer relations manager. I mean, you have a full contact where you can enter their information. You have where you can uh, recall any information or any specific notes that you have, um, particularly on this person. And it works beautifully this way because it, it keeps you organized with the people that you interact with every day or that you meet. So, um, Contacts in Outlook is amazing. I absolutely love it. I use it to death. It is just, um, I, you know, it, it works out and it keeps you organized. So when you're done entering his information in or the person's information in, you want to just hit save and close. And you'll see their data be populated here in the center. Now if I show them as an address card, it'll show up just like so. If I had them as a phone list, We'd have my list of contacts here. In this case, it's Mr. Test and only Mr. Test. Uh, if I wanted to view more information about this specific contact, I would just simply double click the contact and the contact information would show, uh, be populated, and I'd be able to see uh, information pertaining to this person or to this contact. I can add more information or notes about this person and I can resave the contact. Beautiful. Love the way Outlook. Love the way Microsoft has done this. It makes it so easy for us. So we just touched base on contacts. We just showed you. I've just showed you guys a little bit about contacts, how to create a contact. We see the print button up here. If we wanted to print contacts, all pretty basic stuff. Again, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Moving on to tasks. A task is just like I explained in the first video, um, video one of the Outlook videos, Outlook 2003 videos. A task is something that we have to do later, you know, reminding us of, hey, you have to do this, or hey, remember to do that. So in this case, I'm going to set a new task to drop, wait a minute, subject is drop off, um, I don't know, papers at paper store how about that I mean how unlikely is that gonna happen or uh, papers to a paper store but I'm returning papers apparently 
and that's the subject I'm adding here in the task. The due date is going to be due by tomorrow and I need to get this done. The status is it's is um, in progress. I'm going to be doing it. The priority is just extremely high. It's, it's high. I need to get this done immediately and the percentage I've gotten done is none. So, reminder, make sure you take papers to paper store. Once I have the information, once I have the task updated and I have it say exactly what I want it to remind me to do, I would then click save and close and you'll see the task just show up here. If I wanted to delete the task, I would right click, I'd select the task, uh, and or I'm sorry, not delete the task, but I want to mark the task as completed. You would set the checkbox here, and that would show as completed. It makes a little line through it. If I have not completed the task, and if I wanted to update the task or add additional information, I would double click on the task and be able to update more information on this task. I would then save and close and see that the task still shows up on there. Cool thing I forgot to mention, I almost did not go over this, you can also set whether this is a recurring task, how often I want this task to happen, if it's something that happens daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever, this is where I would set the task recur recurrence. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because this is not a recurring task and go ahead and just save and close. So I've already dropped off the papers. I want to mark this task as completed. It is there. Back to contacts, Mr. Test. I met him earlier. He's back in there. He's still in there. Don't want to change anything with him. Going back to my calendar, I have a meeting. It's a test meeting on the 20th, which is March 20th uh, on a Tuesday. Going back to mail, I have no mail in there. Um, I am ready to close Outlook and I'm done working for the day. So we touch base on, we, we kind of went away from mail. I showed you guys how to create a folder. We went to calendar, I showed you how to change the view in calendar, how to update an event and create an event in calendar. In contacts, I've showed you guys how to create a contact and change the current view from address cards, detail address cards, to phone list. And I've showed you guys how to create a task and what task is and what it does and how it keeps it all organized and how to stay organized with Outlook. Again, if you have any questions going over anything I talked about today or if you have any questions on you've ventured out and you've tried different to try different things and different customizations with Outlook, leave them in the comment section in, in YouTube. We're on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. We're also on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Our website is www.itconflict.com. And again, this is Eric with IT Conflict, computer repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks again for watching. Good night.